Hello, hello. So today, today, and I really apologize, I wasn't today at 12 o'clock, but no worries, we're going to cover everything what I'm supposed to say to you at um, 12 o'clock. If no worries, you can repeat, you can come back. It's okay. So today, what, I do, what you see at the beginning on my talk, the topic is um, we're going to talk a little bit about the solar eclipse. Solar, solar new moon eclipse. I would like to mention a little bit to you yeah, about these two events, but don't worry, you don't have to be a scared, you don't have to be afraid, no worries at all. That's a happy time and definitely you will be so smiling and you're supposed to be, yeah, be always happy. Let me just only make sure. I don't know what's happening with my, yeah, <laughs> tiny. I hope so you can see me. Okay, fine, good. Okay, so today we're going to do the talk about the solar eclipse. So 14th of the December is going to happen. So it's a great time, great opportunity to seed your plants because there will be a new moon. There will be a new moon in Sagittarius. So when you, uh, how I can say, when you're really interested about the, um, Oh, I forgot the name. Astrology. <laughs> if you, okay. If you're really interested about the astrology, you can go online. You can just Google it and you can go on the YouTube. It's a lot of, lots of uh, beautiful movies, video about talking about this 14th of December. You can go and research. Because today I would like to just tell you that briefly, what is my point of view, of course, and what I discovered and what I've heard and what I believe. You don't have to believe the same stuff what I'm believing. It's totally fine. Just only here, I'm just only sharing with you my experience and that stuff. Okay. So 14th of December. So today is 11. So it's happening now. I would like to say because this time at 10, 11, 12, 13 is a time for the preparation. Your body, your mind, your soul. Ah, oh, so scary. No, forget it about the scaredness. So now is a time. To preparing your body and preparing your mind i mean it's a great opportunity you can seed your plants i mean the seeds your goals and seed your that kind of the stuff if you would like to achieve something so if you would like to change the job just go for it don't wait don't wait until new year it's a great opportunity if you would like to yes yeah, so change the job and if you would like to, I don't know, make a new online course or make, a, make something new, what, what makes you definitely be happy is a great time and great opportunity because now the new moon is coming. So remember, when you seed the plants, now then you can harvest in the full moon in the six months. So be mind of that. So the 14th of December, let's go see that the solar eclipse. And I had a lot of stuff, like for, like today, I just only watched something. Some of you know what I watch it. But anyway, I watched that um, and listened to that guy. And he was just only saying really, really scary and really cold stuff. I don't want to say that it's scary and cold stuff. Because when you look at the solar eclipse, that's mean to us for whole human humanity and whole people in the world. That's mean... We are involving, we are going to the new earth. So probably you heard about the gold age and you heard about the Aquarian age. So that's going to happen 20th of December. That will be a fully, we're going to step into the five dimension uh, earth. So there will be a glory and there will be happiness and joy, even if it doesn't seem now on the planet. You know what? I discovered that stuff, probably you discover. you know what's going on outside. But the outside world shouldn't impact your body, impact your mind. Even if you're thinking like that, just change it. And you've got always the choice. You can be with your own truth all the time. Okay, so 14th of December. So now is the time to plant your seeds. And the 14th of December, there will be a lot of, a lot of huge amount, the solar eclipse. I mean, the huge amount, um, how I can say, vibration but i'm not going to say it's something bad is coming from the sun but the sun that will be in, in giving the lots of lots of flashes with the beautiful light 
okay, that's a great word that's coming in my head now. There will be light coming to your head, uh, to your body, and there will be a lot of beautiful stuff. Which one that will be regenerating your skin and regenerating your uh, internal organ? That's why sometimes, probably now, you're feeling a pain over there and pain over there. Or maybe you experience a new year, or maybe you experience a lot of headaches, or maybe you are completely drained out of the energy and you need to sleep 12 hours, 18 hours, 10 hours, wherever you need to sleep, just go and lie down and sleep because do you know what's happened now? That light energy, which, which one is coming from the sun, from the cosmos to the planet Earth, that have a huge impact on your body. It's enormous and the vast impact on your body because what why is that for? This is a preparation for the new earth, which one is coming after the 20th of December. Believe it or not, take it or leave it. It's totally up to you. I'm talking from my experience, from my belief. Okay? But sometimes always to know something different instead of what you believe. I'm just only saying be open-minded and just don't go and take everything, in, uh, every information which one it resonates for you, okay? If not resonates for you, just go and just leave it. So that's, when you experience that stuff, what I said, that's definitely you are coming to high vibration person. So, because our body is um, in the low vibration, the three dimensional, so that's why we need to upgrade, I'm going to say upgrade a little bit from the solar eclipse a little bit. So which one is saying coming I'm not going to say from August, I would like to say March. Yeah, that could be a March. That whole the story was happening. And now you can connect that story with something what is happening on the planet now. So you know, with a high vibration because your body was upgraded and is still upgrading. So sometimes you've got a liver pain or maybe stomach is pain or maybe your legs, knees pain or maybe you have to go to the toilet very often. No worries. Or maybe you've got a dizziness in your head or maybe you're so weak or you couldn't sometimes maybe talk properly because you keep forgetting the stuff. As long as you don't have any diagnosed illness, you don't have to be afraid about the anything, about the anything. You have to be a blessed. You have to be a say, thank you so much for upgrading my body in universe because I will be ready and I will be bringing to my body a lot of light on 20th, on 20th of November, sorry, December, <laughs> November, December, because that time there will be much more huge solar um, so that, so that, sorry, so that place will become to the, to the planet on the earth. So be aware of that because if you're not upgrade, if you're not allowed to your body, listen to your body definitely, okay? If you're not allowed to your body, if you're not surrounded your body, uh, then probably you will be having much more pain on 20th of December. So be aware, share it and tell your friends, tell your family. Just tell them, listen to the body, listen to the body. If the body needs a lot of uh, water, for example, now I'm so keeping so thirsty and thirsty, thirsty during the night. I'm drinking huge, uh, enormous amount of the water because I'm always thirsty. Now, now, even now, I'm talking to you and I'm so thirsty as well. So be aware of that. And also, I would like to remind you nothing scary is happening. Nothing scary. Definitely nothing scary. This. Uh, two events, 14th of December and 20th of December, brings a lot of joy, happiness. Let me see the chat that I've just written down. Uh, joy, happiness, freedom, optimism. There will be uplifting energy will be coming on 14th as well. And there will be a top up, I will let go say a top up on 20th of December. So be mine, be mine. That will be a great stuff. So 20th of December. You will be just over the over the moon. I'm going to say that will be definitely over the moon. So don't be afraid. Definitely don't be afraid, and make sure what what, what are you going to do before the new moon? Just only plant your seeds and just go for it. 
And on the 14th, just only stay relaxed, surround with everything, listen to your body, and take as much as you can and lots of great vibrations to your body. That's my choice. I'm going to that. Anyway, I'm doing this every day. Sometimes I'm so drained. Like two days ago, I was completely drained. I was lying down on the sofa. I didn't do any workout. I was like completely drained out of my energy and nothing happened because I felt that a huge amount of uh, light was coming into my body and my body was vibrating. Do you know the shaking sometimes when you lifted a lot of weight and then your body or your finger are just um, moving uh, involuntary, so just moving automatically. So the same stuff happened to my body. So yeah. I felt that stuff and I've been a lot of, lots of like, oh, what's going on, what's going to happen? But I know it. I definitely know it. And you please, please don't freak it out. Because now you know it was going to happen. So that will be a 14. But remember, 20th is going to be a top up. That will be a top up. So the people, the people, <laughs> people who didn't do their work, because a lot of rubbish now will be catching out. A lot of rubbish. It will be like, a, excuse me about my words, but that could be a vomiting or something like that. I know maybe some of you didn't like this word, but I said this word for the purpose. If that word triggers you, that's right. That's great. I've done my job. I've done my job. Right. So then you need to work on that word and you need to heal your wounds, heal your trauma, heal your, uh, I mean, the karma, I mean, a past life karma could be a trauma, uh, from this life or past life or maybe your ancestor or maybe could be as well so many things will be happening that will triggers you and also the triggers point if somebody is going to trigger you just say them thank you because they doing their job and you uh, you have an opportunity to heal your wounds and you'll be so free and you'll be so free and light to step to the new earth and to bring more light to your body, which, which um, is taking to you and giving to you a lot of ability to be a much more open and much more psychic and much more having that, sorry, much more, maybe not, that's the wrong word, but you, you will be having ability to the telepathy and also you will be having a lot of a lot of great stuff like when you meditate medit when you in the state of the meditation you can meet your spirit guide or could be you can meet your angel. That would be a lot of a lot of great opportunity. Of course if you believe that stuff. But no worries if you don't believe it. In the future everyone on the planet will be having the same ability. But everyone needs to first heal the trauma, heal the all wounds, unhealing wounds, and they patch out the whole rubbish what they store in themselves. I mean, the body store. The body is a storage of our memory. So we need to take it out of this memory, clear it up, and then we can step beautiful, bright, pure, light energy to the new air. But anyway, the new air that will be coming 20th of December. So the four years, you can see a lot of people that will be it's so, what I say, yeah, that will be a huge transformation for them. And probably they will be much more in the pain and in the, yeah, in the depression, anxiety or something like that. And because that will be the people who didn't know that stuff like you. So now is the opportunity you can tell them. So they got the less pain. And then you will be clear, cleared up your karma and your own wounds. It's that so simple. That's why I'm here sharing my information with you. So at the moment when I'm saying that stuff, I'm creating my old past trauma. I'm creating my unhealing wounds or something like that. So we are here on the planet. We are sharing. Sharing is caring, someone said. So you can share with that stuff. So remember, 20th of December is not a scary day. Definitely, not, it's not a scary day. This day is full of the optimism, bringing you a lot of great energy. And also, could be maybe a scary because sometimes could be. I said it could be. Okay, could be. Let me say, 7th of December. That was a that was an event. Probably you didn't know that stuff, but that was a huge light. Uh, 
huge light came on the planet Earth. And I felt it. I would like to ex share with that experience with you. I felt so much pain to the chest area. I felt like uh, somebody is suddenly pinching me every time, every time, every time. So then my heart was opening, opening, opening. I felt like here, like a balloon. It's blue. Uh, balloon, when you're blowing the balloon, okay? So that's, I felt something that was expanding, 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 and I felt the pain and expanding, expanding the pain. That was happened just only one day for me. But see, if I didn't know that stuff, so the knowledge is the first step. Knowledge, knowledge, knowledge. Learn more, learn more, and then you can, you will be less scary than you would like to be, okay? So that happened to me, but I didn't scare too much. I just only, I know what's going to happen. I know what's happened with me. And I felt so calm, so peace. I, I did a lot of breath work, so I breathed deeply, and then I was carrying on all my day. And then another day when I woke up, everything was disappeared. But then I felt completely different when I was in, in the morning in the bathroom, and I was looking in the mirror, and I, I saw my face completely different way, definitely different way. So be aware of that as well. So don't go, don't run straight away to the doctor, okay? If you feel something in your chest or maybe short breath or something like that. So that's kind of the symptom. There's a lot of lights coming to your body and trying to open your chest to bring a lot of love and lots of happiness. So be aware of that as well, okay? So that's my experience. Take it or leave it. So wow, 20th of December, I said solar flare brings you Oh God, this stuff is a beautiful one. So on the 20th, 20th and, another, and another point I would like to mention. Mm, that solar flare is going to remove your old DNA. Because when I read that beautiful, I couldn't remember that guy, but he said we've got a lot of DNA in our body. That's a lot of rubbish DNA. It's not only that reptilian DNA, but a lot of different DNA. So which one we didn't, which one we didn't want to, or is useless for us? But it's like, um, what can I say? Okay, I can say you've got at home a lot of a lot of stuff. Okay, that's a lot of plenty, plenty stuff, and you're saying this one. Oh, maybe later I will be taking this one, or maybe later. Or maybe later, okay, I'm going to leave this stuff. Maybe one day I can take it, or maybe I need it, or maybe I need it. So, so the same stuff with our DNA in our body. So we don't need it at the moment, but who knows, maybe one day. So now it's time to clear up, cleaning up, like a spring cleaning, okay? DNA, all DNA, DNA, which one is that is said for us the best? Just clear up, clear up, clear up. So that's beautiful stuff. The universe is going to help us. So the solar flare is going to remove out all the baggage of the DNA we don't want anymore, we don't need anymore. So that's going to happen in your brain. That's why you can be a much more open for the psychic ability. So I mean, it could be an astral travel, or you can really talk, I guess, telepathy with your friends, family, or something like that. You can feel more definitely, the feeling, feeling, you can laugh more, it will be fully upgraded to be more, um, how can I say, let me just have a look, to be more, feel more, a lot more, open telepathy, I said, psychic, feel more, uh, I forgot that word. Anyway, if it comes at the end of the video, I would like to tell you, but I have this at the end of my time. Anyway, that the solar flare also will be cutting uh, for us in our body old pattern, which one doesn't sell for us. So also that will be open your um, beautiful abundance in your life, so you can be easily to get a new job. You'll be easily you can your soul will be going to find a great path on your in your life. So we'll be knowing definitely why are you came on this planet and what is your purpose. So no worries now if you don't know. Probably lots of you asking, oh, I'm here, who I am, what I would like to do in the future. So no worries, just only wait and surround with that stuff. It's not a far away. 14th, 20th of December. 
let's see what's going to happen. Definitely it's going to happen for good. So don't be scared and just surround yourself. Just surround yourself and trust yourself. It's everything is going to be okay and everything is working for your good. I hope this video just gives you tiny, a little bit, um, how can I say, the vision of December 14th and 20th. You can leave us some comments if anything resonates with you, if anything triggers for you. I would like to hear everything from you. Good, no good, positive, no positive, any comments. Any comments, I appreciate that. I would like to show you now, like we do every time at the end of our uh, video every Friday, the bre breath work. You can do this if you've got that symptom, what I said at the beginning, sorry, not the beginning, in the middle. So if you feel that pain, you can just only breathe. You can just only breathe, breathe. Doesn't mean you can just only feel the pain in your chest. You can feel the pain in your tummy or internal organ or maybe somewhere, but you have to breathe and breathe it, okay? So I hope so that resonates with you. And don't be afraid to go outside on that days. Spend the time with the nature. It's not, don't worry. The old earth is going away, but the new earth is coming. But we are here. We're not going anywhere. Anywhere. No, we're not going anywhere. We are going to stay here. Okay? Okay? Yes. Okay. Let's go. Let's cross. Put your palm up and breathe through the nose and exhale through the mouth. So, fully exhale. So breathe through the nose and exhale. Give your palm wrap. Can you remember that? Like as you can feel it more, 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 more. Okay, take your palm on your ivy. And let's go cut all the negative energy, your storage from today. So go away, go away and just give a nice cut. Two, one, you did it. Awesome, that's great. If this video resonates with you, like I said at the beginning, please, please, please leave the some comments below, okay? That would be great, that would be great, awesome. And also I would like to say, I love you and we'll see you next Friday, definitely at 12 o'clock. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm going to promise you I will be 12 o'clock definitely next week. And don't be afraid, 14th of December. That's a great opportunity to be much more happy than before. And 20th. Be much more happy than before. You don't have to be afraid about anything because you are a light being. And the body is just only, what is it? It's just only your, let's say, dress or let's, that's a biological scaphander or something like that. So it's something you don't have to be worried too much. Just be worried much more about your inner self in a child, when you are happy, everything will be happy. Everything. Everything will be good and everyone will be happy. Sorry about that. Okay, so see you next week and take care and stay tuned. Leave the comments below. Leave the comments below. See you soon. And please share with somebody who would like to hear my words today. See you soon.